for his tireless work in bringing this Earth Summit together. This is truly an historic gathering. Right now, we're about to hit the 30th year of United Nations climate negotiations. It started 30 years ago with great hope. Uh, I talked to someone who said this was the most exciting, hopeful meeting that he's ever been to. This was in 1992 in Rio de Janeiro. They called it the Earth Summit. Everyone thought, we can do this. This week at Rio, we have made a start. Beyond Rio, we must continue to carry it through. Mr. Chairman, for our generation and for future generations, there can be no other way. Since the 1992 Rio Earth Summit that started this whole process, this hope has melted away, along with 36 trillion tons of ice on Earth. The Earth has warmed about 1.1 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 0 0.6 degrees Celsius, in that 30-year time period. Five years later, 1997, first climate treaty was agreed to in Kyoto, Japan. It was crafted heavily by the United States, the Clinton-Gore administration. Uh, the United States says, here's what we could accept. And it talked about uh, rich nations dialing back emissions to 1990 levels. Emissions went up. That 1997 Kyoto Protocol was then hit with a jackhammer, being the United States pulled out of it when the administration changed in 2000, in 2001, and George W. Bush, the son of the president who talked about solving the greenhouse effect, put it aside and, and withdrew the U.S. Very much. Please be seated. The approach taken under the Kyoto Protocol would have required the United States to make deep and immediate cuts in our economy to meet an arbitrary target. Then in 2015, after many years of problems and negotiations, the world came together in Paris and came up with a new agreement where each country would set its own goals so nothing was mandated. Each country would set their own goals and do something about it. And then when Donald Trump came in, he pulled the U.S. out of Paris. So this has been a, a theme in 30 years. The U.S. helps craft an agreement. The U.S. pulls out of that agreement they help craft. I announced the withdrawal of the United States from the horrible, costly, one-sided Paris Climate Accord. For 30 years, the U.S., which is historically the biggest carbon emitter, has made promises, but they haven't done any action in the, in the Congress. This is the first time they've, the United States can come to these negotiations and say, look at what we've done. Because in the past, other countries are saying, sure, you're talking, but you're not doing. So, and especially China, which is now the biggest yearly emitter of carbon dioxide, has, has always turned back to the United States and said, show me, don't promise, do something. We'll do more when you do something. The motion is adopted. Today, we make good on our promise to take on climate change and climate justice with historic investments in green technologies that will cut carbon emissions by 40% by 2030. Now the U.S. can get back and say, look at the Inflation Reduction Act. We're doing something. Your turn, China. The world's waiting to hear what China's going to do next. Oh! 